Hello dear student I welcome you all in the lecture series of fundamentals of data structure In last session we have seen what is data structure it is nothing but the way of storing and organizing the data elements efficiently such that the required operations on them can be performed efficiently with respect to the time and memory Data structure are of four types static dynamic primitive non primitive linear and non linear data structure persistent and ephemeral data structure in last session we have covered the static dynamic primitive and non primitive data structure let me start with the today's session for linear non linear persistent and ephemeral data structure so dear student can you observe the figure what it has been given yes only are shown that data structure linear non linear array stack queue link list tree, tree and graph okay now can you do one thing if i say stack what comes in your mind yes stack of plate which mostly we we'll see in hotel i say queue right we are getting queue in some bank or at the bus stand or even at our student sections right so where we are doing all our reporting fine if i say tree what you what you will draw Yes, we are drawing a tree means from one place we are reaching to the multiple, which is having multiple branches, right? Again, this node is having multiple branches means like a hierarchical structure. And now graph. Yes, in the graph it is like a tree, but here all the nodes are connected to each other. So what is the difference over here? If you find out the tree and the graph means after one node I reach to the two and three also. After this one node. in this graph i reach to 0 i reach to 4 i reach to 3 i reach to 2 but in case of a queue or the stack if i observe suppose this number fourth number plate then i reach to either second number or third number plate or at the fifth number plate if i found that this lady yes there is only one successor and only one predecessor means what is happening here right so here these elements in the stack and queue are the linear data structure and graph and tree that's why they are called as non linear data structure so linear data structures the data elements are constructed in a sequence of linear list every element is having one successor and one predecessor it consumes linear memory spaces so data elements are required to store in the sequential manner in the memory if we want to traverse the data element means from one element to the last element then we are going sequential similarly insertion and deletions have been done sequential so here the data elements are visited sequentially then only we get one element at a time so what are the examples of this linear data structure array and linked list arrays are nothing but the group of definite number of homogeneous element which are stored in consecutive memory location so we are saying that for this third data third element is having only one predecessor and only one successor means after third we will reach to fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth means we are reaching we are traversing this array in linearly fashion in the linked list what is linked list is nothing but the collection of a node where group of definite number of homogeneous elements where we are not stored in consecutively means we are not saying that the address of uh, 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 10 is at 100 so address of 20 will be at 102 no it can be different way that's why we are seeing these elements are not stored consecutively but they are in the linear fashion means after first node i i reach to the second node i reach to the third node i reach to the fourth node and so on so stack stack is what it is the ordered collection of element like array but in the stack we can do insert and deletion at only one end that end we are saying that is pointed by the top pointer so if i say deleted the e item then i get this previous stack right so if i want to delete d so you are going to delete this d only means i have inserted a first then b then c then d then e and if i want to remove then we are removing e that's why this is called as last in first out if we are going for the queue what is it queue yes it is a collection of elements like array but here you can do the deletion from front end and you can do the uh, uh, 
sorry we can yes we can do the deletion from front end and we can do insertion from the rear end that's why it is called as first in first out means one is inserted first then 11 then 20 then 3 6 and 10 and you want to delete it then whoever comes first that is going to be deleted now nonlinear data structures are nothing but a graph graph data structure which organizes and stores the data in the hierarchical fashion where all elements are connected to each other and in tree data structures are organized and stored in the again hierarchical fashion but here is a relationship is like a parent and child so in nonlinear data structure that data are consecutively arranged but here every element is having more than one successor and more than one predecessor so traversal of data element and the insertion of data elements are not done sequentially because if you want to do delete this item right then we can go by this line or this one so it is not possible to do insertion and deletion and even traversing of data sequentially but it utilizes efficiently more efficiently memory utilization it does not require that memory declaration in advance means the stack and queue sorry uh, tree and graph are going to be implemented by only linked list not it is not possible by using array because it is having multiple successor and predecessor so if we compare our linear and non-linear data structure then we are saying that here the in the linear data structure elements are linked one after another and in case of non-linear data structures hierarchy is going to be maintained so here every item in the linear data structure having only one previous element and one next element in this case they are attached in the hierarchical fashion so if you think about the linear data structure it is easy to implement and but in the non-linear data structure they are somehow complex so if you find out the labels so how much labels are being involved so in the linear data structure there is only single label but in the non-linear data structures we are having the multiple labels and these are the examples of linear and non-linear data structure now the time comes about the persistent and ephemeral data structure what is the persistent and ephemeral means assume that if we i want to say that i i take a one state and in that state i did something changes due to that change if my state is being changed i am not able to retrieve that change again then it is called as ephemeral data structure but if we are getting the previous state again then that is called as persistent data structure means what is the persistent data structure it is a data structure which preserves the previous version of itself when the data is modified means if any operation is done then it creates the two versions of the data structure okay it retain the previous state and modification is done by performing some operations on it so that's why they are called as im uh, consider as immutable updates are not in place about our example if you see the persistent data structure it can be partially persistent it can be fully persistent or it can be confluently persistent if you take the example of stack i have element a then i pushed b then i pushed c i'll pushed d i now when i pushed before pushing d the stack state was a b and c after pushing d i'm getting the new stack e b c and d and if i remove d the stack contain is what again e b and c means we are getting that previous state that's why we are saying the stack is a persistent data structure in the partially persistent means all versions are accessed but only newest version can be modified in fully persistence means every version can be accessed and modified simultaneously and in confluently persistent means if we are merging two or more versions then we are getting that new version of the data structure now the ephemeral data state what will happen here we didn't get the previous state take the example of queue initially the queue is containing 10 and 20 now insertion is after one end that is called as a rear end so after 20 30 element is added and when i'm going to delete it then 10 will be deleted and we are getting the new state is 20 and 30 and previous state was 10 and 20 so 10 20 and this 20 30 are not same 
that's why we are calling this is the ephemeral data structure let's conclude the data we have seen there are four types of data structure primitive and non primitive linear non linear persistent and ephemeral right static and dynamic right where we need to allocate the memory and in linked list we not need to so thank you student happy learning